Let's go back to the phone lines. Talk to Star. She's listening on Bot Radio, Lincoln, Nebraska. Hi, Star. Hi, Hank. Thank you for taking my call. Pleasure. I just have a question about the afterlife of young children and babies, um, people who have not had the opportunity to take Christ as their Savior. And if, if they die or are killed accidentally or in a car wreck or, you know, the, whatever situation that they're no longer on Earth, what happens to their soul? And well, where in the Bible addresses... What happens to these children or babies? Yeah, yeah, you, what we typically do in this circumstance, Star, is we, we rely on the nature of God. So we always point back to the nature and the character of God. And what we know is that God created humanity so that we could have a relationship with him for time and for eternity. So he's never looking for ways to keep us out. He has made a way by which we could be reconciled to him. So based on his love and his grace, his mercy and his goodness, as well as some hints in the scripture, such as the infant of David that died, who uh, we presume is in heaven because David longed to be with his child that died. So the, the inference of scripture is that infants will spend an eternity with God. And what happens is that they have a particular DNA or blueprint, and that blueprint will flourish to complete perfection in a new heaven and a new earth. Uh, So what uh, they would have been in this life, uh, they will never attain. But what they will be in eternity, they will, in fact, attain. Their DNA will be immortal, imperishable, incorruptible, and they will be the perfect uh, person that they would uh, have been designed to be if sin had never entered the world. Okay, so there is salvation for for the innocent. Yes, I think that uh, the, the nature of God and what we can discern from Scripture points to that very reality. All right, thank you very much. You answered my question.